So these shelves that I have been using outside on the porch to keep the plants in now have to go inside. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is just cut these uh, threads that were connecting the shelf to the wall. I will leave the hooks in the wall because I'm going to use them next year. There is one more over here. And now I can just uh, carry, they're very light, so I'm at home by myself, so I'm going to take this one inside. Next thing I need to do is uh, take these uh, nets off. So I'm just pulling out these little nails. As you can see, and then I'm gonna probably should put them on the floor so that I don't scratch a table. last nail is off and all of the nets or window screens are now off. I may need, I may throw away these or I may wash them and reuse them. We'll see. I have a lot of uh, nails. Most of them didn't get crooked so maybe they can be reused as well. Next thing I'm going to do, as you can see, they're pretty dusty and dirty because they were outside for half a year. I'm going to use um, a wet rag with vinegar and uh, Dawn dish detergent to disinfect and clean this shelf and then I'm going to probably after that use this uh, wood cleaner spray just because I like how uh, nice and smooth and shiny it look gives to the shelves. It can be, you know, somewhere in between spiders. All those spiders are friends. But, um, so you want to clean it thoroughly. I'm going to just uh, rinse my rag and then keep cleaning. Now I'm using this old English brand uh, wood spray that helps protect from everyday wear and tear and I love the smooth uh, shiny look that it gives to the wood. So I'm using a different rag um, that's dry and I'm gonna just wipe one more time all of the shelves with it. These rags are actually retired kitchen towels because uh, in our new kitchen we have mostly white and gray color and in the previous kitchen we had green so I decided to reuse them. Kyle is hitting the door which means he needs to go outside to the bathroom so I'll just take a break. These are all cleaned up now guys and ready to go downstairs in my new plant room. We took down all of this uh, to the plant room. Uh, so I'm going to start setting up these black shelves first and then I'm going to also bring the other shelves from the little office with the LED lights. Um, these are not attached. I actually, when we were moving, I broke one set. So Yeah, I thought that we have a lot of them left. And like the clippers are here for them too. Okay. All right. Almost all of my lights have been set up. Um, 
and plants moved. Uh, the reason why you can't see all the process is because I was jumping from painting the trim, touching up the walls that got uh, hit a bit when the carpet has been installed and then going back to moving some plants. It's just been a lot of work. So in one week uh, with my regular work, I painted three coats of almost all the walls on a 1200 square feet space and then a following week with our regular work we installed the trim uh, filled the holes sanded and painted all the trim again three coats as well as the doors so it was just a lot of work looks really nice I'll uh, give you a tour toward the end of the video but um, right now I just wanted to do quick unboxing I was really looking forward to get another light uh, because I have some plans uh, that needs to uh, get more light during the winter time and I don't have that many windows I mean there is never enough windows for some of us who collect plants right <laughs> so here is the box that arrived actually six days ago and I didn't get to it uh, to unpack them and I have a bunch of plants that have been just sitting here in the middle of the room without the proper light but it was just, like I said, really, really busy. And he has been so obnoxious because he's been trying to get into paint, uh, trying to pull the tape off the walls, which we he, he has done. He just wanted to play. All right. I got Spider Farmer lights before, and what I love about them is you get this natural light look when you're looking uh, at the plants unlike with the pink LED lights also it's a very elegant light and very uh, thin light so uh, it's kind of nice when you are having a lot of shelves you know I try to in my long shelves to squeeze in three sets of um, uh, trays on every three shelves uh, so three sets of lights and this does make a difference when it's not too thick, um, really thin, and they're also very light. Um, the other one that I have has performed wonderfully. I actually have the most precious of my collection, which is Chrysoulas. I have under those lights, so I'm hoping he's going to do the same. Uh, I am planning to experiment with Greptopetalums this year and propagation of them under these Spider Pharma lights. Uh, because last year when I did it, they got really nice color. Uh, the installation is pretty easy like with other um, Spider Farmer lights, so I don't think uh, it's going to be much of an issue. <clears throat> you get a rope and then you get these little hooks that you uh, attach to the four corners of the light and then <clears throat> those four hooks are together connected to this rope that can be you know hung on the ceiling uh, in my case I'm gonna probably not even use these I'm gonna just I might use the zip ties uh, for what I need so I just need pretty much light and I'm gonna plug it in the uh, extension cord where that's plugged in the timer so I don't even have to worry about I just program it to from what time to what time I want it to run and another great thing about these lights is that they don't spend a lot uh, compared to my fluorescent lights and pink LED lights King Boy and High Grow they spend a little bit less so really good the price is pretty good too you know it's really hard to find lights that will have a nice coverage and do well for plants that are under $100 or under $150. So these are, I think, $99 on Amazon. So um, let me set them up and place some plants underneath them. I hate doing this all by myself because you have to hold the zip, hold the light and the zip tie, and it just uh, Okay. and then you also have to center it All right I think when I do two light two zip ties it's gonna be easier I have 
two zip ties now and two more. I just turned them on so it's all ready. Uh, I am planning to do propagation as well as keep this ghost plant under lights and if you watch my last year's video then you know that this doesn't look very good. I think I left it actually too late outside that it got really really cold. I don't know if it's gonna be all right or not but for sure there is a lot of fluffy leaves and rosettes and I can just propagate these so I want to put this um, ghost plant under this spider farm light, the new one, and see how it does. So I'm going to keep you updated. Um, and I will also give you updates on uh, my other plants. Some of them are blooming and looking absolutely gorgeous. And uh, yes, I still need to organize. Um, there is still these shelves that I need to put somewhere by the wall. There is plants that still needs to be moved under lights. I need to bring a sectional or a couch here. So, but I'm really proud, guys, how I painted this. Uh, Jeff actually built these uh, windows and it looks really pretty. And uh, the doors, I'm really happy I painted them. And I think they look really, really nice. Kind of, they match the upstairs ones. And then, let me turn on the lights. I don't mind the furniture being still flipped. <laughs> the carpet was just installed like five days ago or so. So you can see there's like a grayish color. There's pillars here. We did all of this work, like all of the trim, all of the wall painting, ceiling painting. Uh, this is gonna be like a theater room. So that's why it's a darker blue. This window painted as well. I'm gonna keep cactuses there. Uh, it's really bright right now because this is facing south. So it's a little bit harder to see. But yeah, I'm really happy that we're done with this, that we can put stuff in order. There is still uh, some doors that need to be put on that we finished painting so yeah I think that's it guys until the next video thank you for watching and have a wonderful week